So students, uh, in the previous module, we talked about the design principles for the cloud environment. And we are covering 10 design principles. In the previous module, we talked about the first five design principles. And in this module, I will talk about the next five design principles. So what are the design principles that we will be discussing in this module? Those design principles are listed in the module coverage as follows. So you can uh, read and you can see the design principles which we will be discussing in this module. So what I will do is that for each of these design principles, for example, with reference to automation, security, encryption, which is also related to security, and a tier base, this also relates to security and encryption. And of course, the technical debt, technical debt, which is similar to the financial debt in analogy. So that I will also discuss and share with you. So let's go and more deep study. Uh, automation is good, but human implementation. Now, uh, we discussed in the previous module that the system is, is not feasible to be monitored manually. Now the system is monitored automatically. Okay, that's what uh, the Amazon Web Services does. And not only the system is monitored automatically, but the actions, the human, but this, this human implementation sh should not be there because then it is not 24 seven. So that, that human intervention is not there. This is also automatic. So we have this monitoring and we have this implementation both are automatic okay both are automatic okay and these are the tools used by amazon web services cloudwatch auto scaling elastic beanstalk through these tools the implementation is also automatic okay so it is efficient now what 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 can happen is that the resources can fail hard disk can fail servers can crash okay now because of this automatic implementation in case of failure resources can be added and when there is load then more resources are added right so in case of failure the resources are added and when the load increases the resources are added and all of this is done automatically so why it has to be automatic because the approach is a multi-tiered application now, when you have a complex six or seven tiered application, for that you need tools. Automatic tools are required. That are there in Amazon Web Services. Security design prevents. Now, now people ask about the security of the cloud. Now, of course, it can happen theoretically that the administrators of the cloud use their uh, privileges in a way which compromises the security improper use that is op that is possible users have to recognize their responsibility okay now for example uh, if i place my documents in a locker in a bank the bank is responsible after i lock the locker but if i leave the locker open no security of the bank can secure or can ensure the security of the contents of that locker so there are certain basic guidelines which the user has to follow partition the application okay in multiple tiers so as to ensure security groups and implement these shields depending upon how the application is going to be accessed and implement security measures which you can do more in the next slide so how you uh, implement those measures you use encryption but it is again vulnerable to malicious insiders okay if your data is not encrypted is not encrypted there may be malicious insiders who with their malicious intents uh, would like to look at your data so you have to encrypt your data you have to lock your locker you don't have to share your password of your debt of your ATM card. You don't do this. And recognize the access vulnerability. Okay. 
and you when you encrypt your data then it becomes useless to anybody with nefarious intentions so you use the encryption in two ways when the data is in transit you use the secured socket layer and when the data is at rest it means it is stored on the hard disk then you use encryption and the private key is at your premises the data is at the cloud but the private key is with you so you ensure the security of your data tier based uh, design increases the efficiency uh, it increases the security also because you have tiers you have levels so you ensure a check and balance from going from one tier to another tier and that is how you secure your application and of course the another advantage of multi tiered approach okay is efficiency when you design your application when the load is changing okay you add or remove the your your processing power your computing power so that your computing resources are not sitting idle okay and even if you start with a single instance you design your application in such a way that it can be divided into multi tiers and it can be distributed for efficient use for efficient results for efficient application and finally the technical debt same as the financial debt if the code is inefficient okay then it will be hampering the efficiency and one will have to work on that code to make it efficient so that is the technical debt how you can uh, go about resolving these issues when the interfaces are well defined when it is cleared how the application is going to be called and how the application is going to call what are the input output interfaces and different application portions can be updated can be worked upon okay with the proper architecture without disturbing the entire application and by improving the working of the entire application this you can achieve and remember if it's large mingled code which is called as spaghettification also this is difficult to understand it is difficult to modify and you should ensure that you are not doing this okay so avoid this technical debt if it's not even if it's not a cloud environment in it's a non cloud environment don't do these things these things should not be there is a high cost of fixing these issues that is all i have for this module thank you very much